Hey guys, what's up? My name is Art, and this is just some thoughts of the day. Well, actually, thoughts that I was going to put out last couple of days, but you know, I had to sit and let it marinate for a little bit before I t talked about it. So, this is a reality based video. This is not your cup of tea, skip over it, and uh, another. Another video that's your cup of tea will show up pretty soon. I think I have a comic book thing dropping uh, Wednesday, I think. And I got something else dropping Friday. So what I want to talk about right quick is the Roe versus Wade scenario that just happened. The first thing I'm going to say is, what did you expect? What did you expect? Ever since Roe versus Wade came out, Republicans has been trying to overthrow that, overturn it, and all sorts of things since day one. Regardless of what you want to say about it, it's something that was in the works for a long time. And they was working on so hard to overturn that. Now, technically... They did overturn it on a national level, and they said, let the states decide for it. Let the states decide what they're going to do with that. Now, I, tell, I can tell you one thing. In Michigan, they are very much against abortion, very much against it. But um, they're very much against it. I don't know about your state. But they're very, like I said, they're very much against it. And the funny thing about it is that they're working right now. They're trying to work. They're trying to work on something right now to make it illegal. The funny thing is some cities in Michigan wrote it in their chapter that says it's going to be, you know, abortion can be legal in their city only. And, you know, it's it is what it is. Number one. I'm going to tell you, when if you're a Republican and you was happy that Trump came into office, but if you like the idea of Rose versus Wade, well, yeah, you had to take a L on that part. If you were happy that Roe versus Wade happened, take a W on that part. Me, I don't have really much to worry about that because I'm a male. Most males don't have to really worry about that unless they have a partner involved. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not really for abortion. I'm not. I just more along the lines of choice. I know people very personally who had who had abortions. I knew. And the thing is, it wasn't something they took lightly. Most of it, it was like, you know, Stuff just happened, I guess. I don't know how to explain it. But the thing is, all the one, all the people I know who that happened to it, that did it, they made a conscious choice. And guess what? They have to live with that. That's their, that's the consequences of it. Now the only thing is, is that I'm look up. It's like, well, once you know, I was having a talk with one of my people, one of my friends about this recently. And he says, it's good, it's good, you know, you shouldn't be killing the baby's life. And I was like, well, I'll tell you what, are you going to adopt a kid? Are you going to adopt a kid now? Are you going to create, pro? are you going to support programs to help take care of these unwanted children? Are you going to do that? Instead of eroding it away, are you going to do that? No, you're not. So I looked up, I told that guy, I said, look, you can tell me all you want that you're pro-life but if you're not willing to take care of a child after it was born if you're not hip to that fact then maybe you might want to keep that around of course he gave me the FU's and I, your piece of crap stuff and I'm like okay fine you know you like killing babies I'm like no I like someone to have a choice I never was put in a situation where I had to think about that shit. I avoided those kind of things for a reason. 
So I don't have to worry about that kind of thing. Maybe nowadays I might have to if I get lucky, but <laughs> whether it's lucky or not, but guess what? That choice has now been taken away. Say, for example, if um, I was involved with somebody and it happened and I'm looking around here, it's like, you know, I don't think. And she's like, I don't really want the child. I don't want to carry the child. I want I don't want it at all. And I'm like, well. To me, it should be the, the woman's choice. My viewpoint is I'm going to support that woman 100 percent. She wants to keep the child. Boom. No big deal. If she wants to, you know, get rid of it. I'm with you 100 percent. I like I like the idea of choice. And in my opinion, taking that choice. I mean, here's a funny thing about it. Very few people actually get very few percentage of people get abortions. That's the funny thing about it. Well, in my area, in my area, because a lot of people are poor. You can't be poor and get an abortion. <laughs> you have to have some money. So you got to look at it. <laughs> Whatever. But, you know, hey, if you're in support of that, great. I'm happy for you. If you're not in support of it, I agree with you. I'm not for abortions. Like I said, I'm not for abortions at all. But I like the idea of choice. And with that being said, that's all I'm going to say on this matter. If you have some words, that's great. If you want to tell me your side of the story or whether you agree with me or disagree with me, you know, let me know down below. Not a problem. All right. Now I'm going to get back home and take care of some stuff and relax for the rest of the day and finish my laundry. Talk to you guys later.